Hi, this is Joe at FPWeb.net. You're watching Joe Knows Support. As you can tell, we've lost the projector. And if you know where it's at, please let us know. I don't even have the uh, galley line that we normally use for the tickets, so I don't know how I'm going to get a ticket here. Uh... Order up. Oh, here they are. Ah, adding an image to a list web part. Let's see how you do that. So here you'll see we have a picture library already set up with, if I click on it, a picture already in it. And we're going to come back to that later. So first, let's go back to the list. In the list, we're going to notice there is no picture. So let's click on it and go to list and list settings. Under list settings, we're going to go down and add a column. Once I add this column in, I'm going to come over here and actually pick contact photo. Contact photo is what's going to be uh, shown usually like in a user profile or something. But we're going to use it for the list. Click OK. And once we're back here, we're going to go back in and add this column and format the column in the way that we want it to look. As far as actually seeing that image that we're going to put in here. I like to put it first, so we're going to put it at column 1. So as you can see, the columns listed items. We're going to go down to the bottom. We're going to actually click on OK. And now we're going to click on List. And we're going to look at that image. Click on the image. You're going to see it's really huge. We don't want the really huge version of it. So we're going to go back and right click on it and go to Copy Image URL right here. Click on that. Now I have a copy of it in my clipboard. I'm going to go back to the actual list. Now that I'm here, I'm going to click on Add new announcement into this list. I'm going to put in an announcement. I'm going to put in whatever adding new image to list here. Put that in, and then I'm going to actually uh, go down and put in the uh, under contact photo, put in that URL, and save it. Now you don't see it. That's okay. We're actually going to go in and edit the web part now. That's how we're going to see it. So now we're going to go in, click on the edit web part and go over to views and change it to all items. Once I do that, click OK. And now when I look at the list view of that uh, list, what we will see is the picture. So now that picture will be associated with this list. And that's how you do it. All right, one thing to keep in mind, if you're using the all items view, that image is gonna show up across all the web parts. So you may wanna create a unique view just for that web part list. And with that, it's another ticket served. <laughs>